Right there, folks, is how this all began with the Canadian Heroes song. It's Saturday, January the 15th, 2012. Very cold day today. Chris Eklund here. And we are at the Canadian Heroes race shop. Slowly making some progress. The uh, Some goodies there. Steve Moore dropped off. And of course, one of the shadow boxes we did. Kevin Ellis gave us that beautiful poster up there with all of our fallen on it. Office is uh, just getting ideas um, what we're going to do. And as we come into the shop here, we have Canadian Heroes number two, which uh, should be on the road again soon down to Daytona. And this right here, the glare on it, let me turn the lights off. There, is that a little bit better? An old friend brought this in yesterday, and I'll, I'll tell you some background on this. Um, when we lost uh, Tyler Todd, I uh, I was up, I went for the service and the funeral, and on the way home I stopped in Kitchener into uh, RCMP detachment there, and I saw this on the wall. Uh, it was behind. Uh, Sergeant Bowman's desk and we had a nice talk and lo and behold he brought that down yesterday so Merv if you're watching this thank you very much it's uh, it will be hung here with much honor and I know how much that plaque meant to you and all the work you went into making that um, Here we are. So what we're doing today, just to let you know, we are going to take the body off the car here. As you can see, the body's pretty banged up. And we could repair it, but I thought, you know what, it's a good time now to take it off so we can see what's underneath. As you see, we have the hood off. And Steve yesterday um, also took the trunk off. Uh, that, you know, has a spoiler and that attached to it. So this is basically a fuel cell, um, NASCAR fuel cell, extremely safe. You don't see the fires that you do back in the day anymore. And one, one great thing here I'll, I'll, I'll teach you too is you see how the, uh, the fuel filler right there, the big one, and then right, right here, the secondary one is uh, basically a uh, vent slash catch can there. Now you notice how the filler is over here? That tells you it's an oval car. If you go over here, take a look at this car, it's on this side. That there tells you this is a road course body and there is nothing on that side. So what we have right here is what we refer to as an oval car and this is what we refer to as a road course car. Now, there's a lot of things that have to happen to make a specific car into an oval versus a road course. One of the dead giveaways is you, you see the wheel here? Now, if you didn't know, you're saying, gee, that wheel don't look quite right. You got uh, that amount of uh, camber built into it like that, you pretty well know that that's an oval car. If you take a look at a road course setup, it would be more of a neutral setup like you and I drive our, our road cars on. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start to take off the body today and uh, get to see what's underneath. We have basically four months before we race so what I really want to do is I want to learn this car. This car here is a 2009 McCall chassis. It only has approximately I think seven races on it so all intents purposes we got ourselves a brand new race car. It's uh, Got some more wounds on it from uh, Kawartha, but there's, it's just a lot of superficial damage. As you can see, it's just all very you know, light uh, sheet metal in there, so we'll have to either fabricate some new stuff or, um, or buy, buy some stuff. The bodies themselves are fiberglass, not a lot to them. You can see now that we have the, 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 the trunk lid off, you can see the, uh, 
main bar coming down there, and that continues right, right inside, and then of course down, down the other side. This is the strength of the, the backbone of the car, basically right there. Um, and again, when you move inside, when you talk roll cages, there's roll cages, and then there's, you know, what we have here, which is uh, extremely safe um, compared to what it used to be. Now, again, when you take a look at the car here, the um, just if you, I'm going to zoom in on the frame rails down here. Let's see if you can see that there. Uh, it's a little bit dark down here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You see that big giant square? Like, look how thick that is. That's, that's the frame of the car right there. So there's really not a lot of strength in the, in the shell um, like we have in an ordinary car. This isn't like a, uh, a cup car made out of steel. They're, they're fiberglass. They're relatively inexpensive. Um, you can replace the body panels piece by piece. The, uh, you know, the front clip here will, uh, will come off in one piece and then you've got your, your fender here. You can see here it's already separated from uh, some accidents that we had here. So the, uh, the motor here, this is what we call a built motor. Um, we're, we're, we're undergoing the big debate right now on either to uh, keep running a built motor or to take it out and switch to the NASCAR spec motor. If we put a NASCAR spec motor in it, we can pretty well get a year out of that versus three years, I mean three races out of a built motor here. Um, I prefer to have the spec motor simply because it's one less headache that I have to worry about. It's a D-rated motor, which means it's, uh, it's not stressed as, as much as, say, this built motor is. A um, lot of stuff going on here in, in the front end that you're not used to with a road car. These kind of orange-brown hoses are, um, are, are air ducts that, that go right in to the wheel to cool it down so your, your brakes don't overheat. The, uh, and that's where they get their air from, right here. So there's a couple more right there. If you ever see a short track, oval track car, take a look next time at the, uh, at the brakes. You'll see them kind of glowing uh, cherry red. And for those that were just watching Daytona testing, you can, you can tell that, say, this car per se is not a super speedway car because the Daytona cars don't have any ducting on the front because uh, they close it all off with duct tape to cheat the wind to allow them to go faster. So. Uh oh, speaking of trouble, there, there he is, Mr. Steve Moore. How are you, sir? Good, yourself? We're just giving a little play-by-play -play about what's going on here uh, with, with the car and what we're doing and all that today. So um, pretty well just at the end of the video, and we're going to get to work now. So we will talk to you soon.